Hey everyone, Miha here and welcome to my new video. Today I'm sharing with those of you who don't yet know information about Operation 3 release in Beyond the Wire. Operation 3 named Canada's 100 Days was due to be released in the summer but some additional testing meant that its release had to be pushed back a bit. But now it's finally here and it's going to be released on Steam on 3rd November. In case you didn't watch my previous videos about Operation 3 and future updates in Beyond the Wire, let me tell you that with Operation 3 new faction will be introduced in the game, and as the Operation 3 title suggests, it's going to be Canadian Expeditionary Forces. With Canadian Forces we are also getting their unique arsenal with the likes of Ross Mark III rifle. In this update, all other factions are also getting new additions to their weaponry, from new pistols, melee weapons, bolt-action rifles, automatic rifles and high-explosive grenades. Operation 3 brings also two new maps, Vimy Ridge and Vie Armand. Vimy Ridge is very big map with lots of open and burned down lands. Moving through this map is possible with using trench lines and underground tunnels. Vie Armand is mountain top map with lots of uneven terrain and tunnels through mountain which is going to provide great challenge to both sides. If you want to check out these two new maps, make sure to watch video presented to you in your top right corner. There will also be some reworks done on already existing maps, most notably as on court map. In Operation 3 we will see improved optimization and gameplay as well with reworks done on different game modes. Progression and customization system was also planned to be released with Operation 3, but it's been decided by the devs that it's going to come out in the future with new updates and operations. The reason for this is that they need to make sure that the system is fully working before being released. After the Operation 3 release and the changes made to the game, we can expect updated roadmap to be released as well with new updates and planned dates. With that roadmap we will also get concrete information about 1.0 release of Beyond the Wire. In case you forgot, it has been a year now since Beyond the Wire has been released into early access, so happy anniversary to everyone behind Beyond the Wire and thank you for this great looking game. Right after the release of new update, Operation 3, I will be uploading fresh content from the game which will also include live streams. so make sure to subscribe to the channel now, it's greatly appreciated and with subscribing you won't miss any future videos and live streams. So thank you for watching today's video, hit like, leave a comment down below and as they say, I'll see you in the trenches.